to the home tournament today with your baby chicks! I got into her. <laughs> hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. A little excited this morning. Yes, indeed. Oddball, you're looking a little rough behind the ears. Last night, the night before, we found some baby chicks that attached. <laughs> Me too. This oh, one. Hi, Goose. This one's so cute. This is Goose. This was the first baby chick that we hatched on our homestead. Why don't you, uh, why don't you put Goose back under his mama so she's not freaking out? There's Noodle. There's Noodle. There might be more baby chickens under there, but I just found Noodle. If we have another baby chicken, it shall be named Cow or Dumplin'. Here's your mama. Do you like puppies? No babies? Go girls. Not sure if we're going to get any more of these uh, these baby chicks, but we've still got four broody hens and uh, lots of eggs. I candled them. It looked like we had stuff going on, but I've never done this before, so it's all uh, all a new experience for us. But we're really excited. That what happened is I had a broody hen, and she was sitting on eggs, and I tried to like take all of them, but like four out from underneath her so that she could just sit on those. Every single time I did that, it would end up upsetting her. She she would get up and stop being broody. So I decided, you know what? She's broody. I'm just going to leave her alone completely and stop collecting the eggs and see what happens. Honestly, it was a giant mess. I mean, every single box was full of eggs and ended up having like six broody hens. But when the kids came out here the other night and checked on the chickens and they heard a little cheep cheep and they knew that we had a baby chicken. We were just trying to make cookies. We were gonna go collect eggs because dad didn't tell us that the chickens were, were brooding. So imagine if Goose hadn't hatched, then we would just crack open a baby chicken. That wouldn't have ended well. Then shortly after that, Noodle started hatching. We got video of that, so that was really, really cool. We got it all cleaned up, so hopefully we'll be able to start collecting eggs again. But I'm gonna leave these four broody hens to sit on the rest of these eggs that I feel like possibly we might get something out of it uh, for the next week or so and see how that goes. And uh, if, if nothing, then we've got two new chickens on the homestead and a proof of concept that this actually works. But we need to, uh, to take care of some baby chicks and take care of these mamas. We want to go get the water bucket and the, uh, the food bucket. It's underneath the porch on top of the compact chicken tractor. Watching the sunset on Tennessee Hill I wish I could capture it, I never will Cause I'm not a painter, can't stay in the lines Just sitting here sipping on
helping me out a little bit. Would you comment bomb dad? Because there's a new bunny that I want. It's four weeks old today and they might get adopted soon because they go home at eight weeks. I'll pay for it myself, but dad hasn't said yes yet. So would you comment bomb dad that I need this bunny, please? So back when I first started this journey of hatching chicks from our flock, I was not sure that it was going to happen. There were so many obstacles that were in my way in my own mind. Uh, number one, the breed of chickens that we have, they're meant to lay eggs prolifically and the eggs that they lay seem to have uh, a harder shell that I read some baby chicks may have a hard time hatching out of. But like I said, this was an experiment. Uh, with all the challenges that we faced, I figured what's the worst that could happen? I lose about a month of production on my eggs and I have to clean out the coop. But when that first baby chick hatched out of its egg and we saw that it was alive, we saw that it was healthy, we saw that mama was taking care of it, that was super exciting to me. That was like, that was like the aha moment. This actually works. This is something that we can do. And we can be a lot more like the traditional homestead where you don't have to go and buy 50 to 100 chickens at a time and raise them and process them all at the same time. You can just have your flock and as you're, as you're wanting to make dinner, go out and grab that one chicken that you need to process. So to me, that's just more of a, uh, a sustainable lifestyle that we want to live. I want to see us being able to produce our own food and our own meat and making things work here on the homestead instead of working so hard uh, to make things happen for us. That's it, we've got baby chicks. Exciting times on the homestead. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, thought it was entertaining or informative in any way, please hit the thumbs up. Let us know that you liked it. And if you've not subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing and see more of what we have going on here on the homestead. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. You ready? Don't forget to comment bomb dad. Comment bomb dad. Yep. Why? You think that I'm going to listen to other people over you? Well... When people call and bomb Mariah Elizabeth for years, she gets what they want. Mariah Elizabeth? Yeah. She's so, an art person. She's an art person, yeah. and when they comment bomb her, she gives them their way? Eventually. Sometimes it takes years, sometimes it takes days.